ఓం అస్మద్గురుభ్యో నమ జై శ్రీమన్నారాయణ హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ నో వీ ఆర్ స్టెపింగ్ ఇన్ టు సెకండ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ అరణ్యకాండ ఇన్ దిస్ కాండ వీ కమ్ అక్రాస్ టెన్ హెడెడ్ రావణ అండ్ జాటాయూస్ సాక్రిఫైసెస్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఎ గ్రేట్ ఉమెన్ నేమ్డ్ శబరి అండ్ మెనీ మోర్ వీ ఫైండ్ అగైన్ డమన్స్ డమన్స్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ అగైన్ and also the, the problems which are being faced by rama most difficult situation he faced in this aranyakanda and also sita sita was also kidnapped who kidnapped sita and how was she kidnapped what were the reasons behind it surpanaka when lakshman cut her ears and nose screaming bitterly went to kara and doshana and told him what all had happened karadoshana angrily approached sri rama at first they sent 14000 demons but ram and lakshman killed all those 14000 demons then they themselves approached ram and lakshman and they were killed by ram and lakshman Ravana heard the news of the death of Kara and Doshana and then he directly approached Maricha to seek his help to kill Ram and Lakshman. Maricha tried his best to disgrace him to fight with Ram and Lakshman. He also narrated them the sequence of fighting against Ram and Lakshman. It is not so easy to defeat them. Maricha also told Ravana that how he was thrown away into the sea by Ram and Lakshman. Ravana came to his palace thinking for other means. Meanwhile, Surpanaka came running to Ravana's palace. Seeing her ugly face, he asked what happened. Her face was full of blood. He asked her what had happened. Na Surpanaka narrated everything that had happened. She further said to Ravana, "Brother, Rama has a beautiful wife Sita. Why don't you go and kidnap her? You can marry her. She is so beautiful." Thus Surpanaka generated some more evil thoughts in the mind of Ravana. Ravana again went to Maricha and requested him to go and tempt Sita in the form of golden deer. He further threatened him by saying that Maricha would be killed in his hands if he disobeyed his words. Then Maricha thought, Rama is not an ordinary human being. He knew that he was God himself. so he thought instead of being killed in the hands of the demon ramana it is better to be killed in the hands of rama so that he will get salvation thinking so by taking the form of a deer he went into panchavati and wandering here and there ram and lakshman heard the noise made by the deer they thought some de- demon was again approaching them they were trying to see its scent meanwhile the deer approached the place where ram and sita were talking to each other enjoying the scenic beauty sita mata was so impressed and fascinated by the beauty of the deer and its shining golden skin she asked rama that she wanted the deer rama warned her it is not an ordinary deer it's not a normal one perhaps demon in the form of a deer might have come but sita was not in a position to heed rama's words i want the deer she was so stubborn and convinced ram that she wanted to play with the deer 
what to do both ram and lakshman started chasing the deer the deer ran away and both ram and lakshman started following even lakshman suspected it it's not an ordinary deer it's a, a demon must be playing the role of a deer ram suggested lakshman to go and take care of sita he further said you don't worry lakshman suppose if it is really a normal deer with beautiful skin i will go and fetch it for sita if it is really a demon came in the form of a deer then i will kill it you don't worry first you go and take care of sita then lakshman went back to sita ram suspected that deer must definitely be a demon so he shot an arrow when the arrow hit the deer maricha in his original form came out and started imitating rama's voice by saying hey sita hey lakshman hearing the voice sita was very much worried and suggested lakshman to go and see what happened to rama something might have happened to rama by the demons so suggested lakshman to to go and see the condition of ram then lakshman said don't worry sita mata nothing is going to happen to ram it's all only um, some demon imitating the voice of ram she said angrily what lakshman do you have any evil thoughts about me if if you don't follow what i said i will kill myself here what to do lakshman drew a circle by chanting some mantra and told her not to step out of that circle sita mata agreed then lakshman went out to see the condition of his brother ram meanwhile ten headed ravana approached sita disguised as a sadhu a saint and started asking bhavati bikshan dehi sita mata brought some food thinking he is some saint suddenly she remembered the circle drawn by lakshman she asked that saint to come inside the circle but ravana in the disguise of the saint hesitated to, to get into the circle then sita stepped out of the circle drawn by lakshman then ravana stood in front of her in his original form as ten headed ravana he introduced himself as the king of lanka the king of all demons he told sita you marry me you will be the queen of my entire kingdom sita was very angry and pushed him but ravana kidnapped sita and put her in his pushpak viman then started moving this was noticed by jatayu jatayu fought against ravana after a long fight ravana with his sword cut the feathers of jatayu and injured her legs jatayu bleeding and fell on the ground she was about to leave the world but with great difficulty waiting for ram's arrival after killing maricha ram and lakshman came back while they were moving towards the hut to see the condition of sita if she was safe suddenly they found the bird jatayu bleeding 
Rama, I am not going to live anymore. I am going to die. What had happened? He asked. Rama asked. Ten-headed Ravana kidnapped Sita. He might have taken her to Lanka. Please go and bring her. Saying so, Jatayu took her last breath. Ram abused himself for all these happenings and cried for Jatayu and performed cremation to Jatayu. Then Jatayu reached God's abode. With the touch of Rama's hands, it got salvation. Ravana, after taking Sita to his kingdom, Lanka, he proudly said, This is all my empire. You are going to be the queen if you marry me. For that, how dare you to talk like that? I am wife of Sri Ram. Surely you are going to die in the hands of my husband Sri Ram. Ravana called all his servants and told them, You make her stay in our Ashokavan. Try to convince her to marry me. Don't let her go anywhere. He turned to Sita and said, I am giving you 12 months time. If you don't want to marry me, these demons are going to kill you and eat your meat. Thus Sita was kept in Ashokvan under the vigilance of all other demons. At the time when Ravana was kidnapping Sita, she dropped her jewelry in a cloth, the place where there were some monkeys. She found five Vanaras there and she dropped that jewelry so that Rama at any point of time would come there and would know that she had been kidnapped by Ravana. First time Ram cried bitterly at the death of Jatayu and also missing his beloved Sita. He suspected some occurrence of danger to Sita. He started cursing everything. He started shouting loudly. Whole tree shook, seeing Rama's face. Then both Ram and Lakshman went in search of Sita. Meanwhile, they found one more demon called Kabandu, a terrific figure. The demon had very long arms extended for miles, miles, and it had no head. It had only eyes and mouth fixed in its stomach. With its long hands, it captured Ram and Lakshman and was about to swallow them. As soon as it captured them, Ram and Lakshman climbed on to its shoulders and cut its arms. Actually, Kabandu was not a demon. It was also a Gandhvarva being cursed and got this demonic form. It requested Ram and Lakshman to burn its body so that it would get its original form. Then both Ram and Lakshman did what she said. The demon got its original form and came to know about Sita Mata's kidnap and he suggested Ram and Lakshman to take the help of Sugriva in Kishkinda. On their way to Kishkinda, they found a beautiful river, that is River Pampa. There they found an old lady who had been waiting for the arrival of Ram and Lakshman for many years. She was none other than Sabari. At the time when his guru was leaving for Parampadam, he suggested Sabari to wait for Ram and Lakshman. Offer them fruits and you will get salvation at their presence. Since then, Sabri had been waiting for them for many years. That shows her faith towards her Guru. 
innocent savory first tasted that fruits whether they are good enough for ram to eat then offered them seeing ram she took her last breath and reached god's abode in this way even sabri got salvation thus many munis and even demas got liberation that is why this aranya kanda is also called moksha kanda moksha means salvation